Hey guys, how's it going? Blake here with Easy Tech. Today I am bought myself a new keyboard. Um, now this is the TK61. This is one that I did in the video about a month ago. Got a lot of response. People loved it. It is a 60%. This is the one I've been using for the uh, last month or so. And the reason why I have this up, um, I have been using it. I have been liking it. The latency on it is really, really good. It's uh, almost non-existent. But um, there it is, guys. It's working pretty well. Um, but the thing is, the reason why I'm showing this, um, when I bought the other keyboard, I assumed that this was going to be the case. Now, as you can see, um, I think it's Tizar, Tizar, something is the name of the company. I cannot remember. But I said this is the TK61. Now, the reason why I'm showing you the keyboard and the reason why I'm showing you the box is considering if you look at the picture of it and everything and look at the brand of the name, you will see that when I bring in this new one that I purchased, it has a different name, but if you look, the keyboard is the same in the placement of the logo and everything. So what this is, is this is one of those uh, items that a bunch of people seem to be buying and stuff from uh, Chinese wholesalers. But I will say, don't let that deter you from this. These are good budget keyboards from what I can tell. I mostly use the one I have now for chat on the Xbox considering the fact I'm not good at mouse and keyboard anymore. I haven't done mouse and keyboard in a really, really long time. So let's go ahead and open up and see what the TK-104 has to offer. Now this one's supposed to have anti-ghosting with it if you do some PC gaming and everything. So let's go ahead and open. Now it's a lot heavier than the other one. So I wanna go ahead and point out real quick, if you guys remember the other one, I was surprised at how heavy it was considering um, you know, just considering how thick it was, I did not expect that, even though I guess I should when you consider the fact that it does have RGB. Um, the last one had a large sheet that I used to learn the um, controls and everything of it. So we have the box, and again, there's no big sheet in there showing it. I really wish that was there. Maybe it's on the back, but let's look at the keyboard. The first things you guys are going to notice, I did get a darker um, format, and I actually just noticed something really bad about it. We'll get to that in a second. You guys already see it. It is actually missing a key. That is not good. Um, so I'm not going to let that deter me from the rest of the uh, video. But unfortunately, the key is missing. It is not in the box. And I do not have extra keys, even though that's not that big of a deal. Um, I do need that, of course. I mean, I do a lot of calculations and stuff on my keyboards when I use them with my computer. And considering I have the other one on my Xbox, I'll probably use this on my computer. But first things first, this is a really heavy keyboard. It is a 100% where the other one is a 60%. It is the TK-104, so it has 104 keys on here is what it's supposed to be, I believe. Um... It actually seems to be a little bit thinner than the other keyboard, I believe. Let's bring that one over. Let me go ahead and unplug it so I'm not constantly pushing buttons. So we actually do a comparison of the two. It is actually really thin in comparison. Now, one reason for that, if you guys look at this, there are no stands on the bottom. They're all rubber grippers, but there's actually stands here. And I believe, I thought these are supposed to be for two elevations, but they do add one elevation. So with this added, it is actually slightly more elevated it looks like so that's actually a good thing i actually like it to be elevated um so it's working real well uh the other one had a removable USB C, which is a major plus for me because if the cable gets damaged i do have a cat that has recently been trying to bite cables all the time and uh sometimes i don't get to her in time so if it actually chews through this cable this is a hardwired cable so i will just be sol in that aspect Again, you can see it has the same type of uh, sticker on the back. You can tell this is from the same company, at least the same base company who designed the boards. But it's a real sturdy quality. Um, I actually wish I thought about getting a magnet. This is a metallic finish, not actual metal, which I originally thought when I got it. Um, but as you can see, these are red switches. Uh, I originally thought about getting some blue switches. With this one, they came in red and blue. But considering I got red with this one, I wanted to have a noise comparison whenever I do a comparison video later on. Uh, there's a lot of space underneath. So um, about the same that you'll see in this one, except for this one has a type of um, opaque um, 
underneath so you can kind of see through it gives a real good effect this one is just open underneath uh there's also no tweezers or anything to pull these off but i'm pretty sure they're supposed to easily come off and back on so i'm gonna have to i really hate to send this back guys but if i don't have all the keys i mean i don't have uh, enough keys to just replace this right now if my channel was bigger and i had a bunch of keys i'd be able to do that but just for the reason let's get on real quick um, i'm gonna do what i did last time and i'm gonna go ahead and let's do a sound check actually let's go ahead and get a noise of what this is now if i try to push it is yeah i'm putting a decent amount of force in there and it's a little bit difficult to push so let's do a sound check between the two so here's the tk 106 now these are the red switches the red switches are quieter than the blue switches Just make sure you guys know that and here is the other one. They feel about the same when I'm going through like this. These feel a lot less resistant when I'm hitting multiple keys than when I'm doing this. When I'm using this keyboard, there seems to be a slight more resistance with it. Maybe they're not the same type of red switches, even though it's supposed to just be a generic across the board. Uh, red's supposed to be red, but... I mean, just seems to be a lot more resistance with these keys than these, and that's fine. But I just didn't expect that. The noise, as you can see, is a lot louder with the TK61 um, as well. Now, this isn't a full comparison video. I just had it next to me, and whenever I verified what I originally thought, which was that they are from the same company, I just wanted to go ahead and check. So now let's go ahead and see the latency of it, see how well it types. Now this cable is gonna be relatively long as I can go ahead and tell. Uh, I'm not gonna fully, ex no, I'll fully extend the cable. I have to tell you guys about how long it is. So the cable is about, I'd say about six feet, five or six feet, uh, roughly guessing it. I'd say about five feet long. So you'll be able to get a few feet away. Now, I like this one for my Xbox potentially more than the other as much as I love it. I have a dark desk, as you guys can see, it's a corner desk. I have an Xbox One on my desk, an Xbox Series X. I'm going to move the one off pretty soon. The laptop I have is dark and everything. The only other thing that's light is my monitor. It has a white um, bezel around it and everything, a white stand. So I'm liking the darker color to go with my Xbox Series console. So let's go and plug it into the Xbox and see the latency of it in comparison. Okay, guys, so it is plugged in. Let's go ahead and, and there we go. So it's lighting up now. That's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what the settings are. Uh, I believe there may be a software or something to it. But unfortunately, since I do not have the... Um, computer restart your computer. This is I'm not going to start the driver. So last time I um, plugged into my Xbox, it instantly worked the same thing for the... Um, the same thing for my computer now this twitching you guys are seeing that is not uh what i see right here that's an effect of the uh frequency of the camera of uh, the um so this is really smooth there is no flashing that i can catch with my eye so as bad as it looks here guys you will not see that unfortunately again i don't have the sheet so i don't know exactly what works let's go and try the same settings so if i hit fn you'll see that little ripple effect So that seems to go from each key. There was a similar mode in the other keyboard. Um, this one has 23 different modes. Uh, I'm going to have to figure them out. Maybe FN and this here. Nope. Maybe it is. Did I turn it off? Okay, yeah, so this will control your brightness. So I figured that out the hard way. Uh, let's see what this does. On off. Nope. So this is your different modes. So if you hold F in and you hit this, this will change your different modes. There's supposed to be 23. I'll go through them a little more later. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the effect I had before. I really like that one. I'm not. I will say, guys, if you're really looking for the RGB, um, I'm having a hard time with the RGB of this popping out at me. 
I mean, I can see it. I'm looking for it, but it's not showing as well as the TK61. But uh, it is still there. If the lights are off in your room, you're definitely going to notice this. And matter of fact, guys, let's give that a quick shot. I did not do that with the TK61. I'll have to make sure I do it in the review video. But let's go ahead and let's turn off the lights and stuff so we can go ahead and see what it actually looks like when the lights are off. Okay, guys, so that's so much better. I couldn't see that before. Uh, it is still showing, again, the TK61 just shows up so much better in comparison. If you're looking for something to be really low-key and you want the arrows, I do know the one thing I don't like about the 61 is I have to hold FBN and hit buttons to get these arrows. But let's go ahead and see if the color brightness, so the brightness is a little bit brighter now. It is more noticeable, but again, I mean, it's just not standing out like the white one is. So you guys, there is a white version of this. Maybe that will show better. But if you're looking for something a little more subtle, I would say get this one. It gives you all the keys, which is a major plus for me. Uh, hold the F in, go down to where you got a low setting. You got the RGB, the lights are off. It's not going to be overly distracting that way. But if you're really looking for, you know, to actually see it, where's the F in? There it is. Just hold that brightness, turn it up all the way to 11, and just let it go nuts. Um, well, that's it for this video. Matter of fact, no, let's check out and see what the latency is of this one as well. I got a bunch of gibberish on the screen right now from where I've been tapping keys. So let's go ahead and, well, the gibberish just got sent. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. I'm trying to type around a uh, camera, so that's why it's not going well. So it seems to be uh, almost no latency here as well for the Xbox. Now this is what I'm mainly probably going to use these for. Uh, this will probably be my new computer keyboard, like I said, for now at least. I'll probably end up replacing it with uh, a wireless one that I can use as well with a dust cover because I don't want the dust to get up under these keys. But that's something that you guys shouldn't have to worry about uh, right off the back. Again, this is the TK104. It has anti-ghosting on it is what they say. It comes in the blue and the red switches. The blue ones are going to be a little louder, uh, so if you guys are looking for that louder mechanical noise, you're going to get that with the blue switches. But all in all, it seems to be fine. Uh, I'm going to try it out a bunch. I'm playing games with it, communicate with people, chat, maybe put it on my PC over the weekend while I'm writing scripts and stuff. And then I'm going to get another one sent to me. I'll actually probably get the other one sent to me. Go ahead and put this one back in the box, and then I'll do that. So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, also, make sure you comment below if there's any other type of tech you'd like to see. Uh, I've got to build my channel that I want to venture out to AR and VR. I want to do some computer components and stuff. I want to do some Xbox and uh, if I can ever work up enough money to get a PlayStation as well. Some components for those things as well. So I really want to expand this channel and the only way for me really to do that guys is for you guys to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you keep coming back. Uh, at the start, I'll probably only get one of these videos out a month, uh, maybe two if I can do it. But that's only going to be about how quickly I can get um, things to test until I get that money rolling in. I won't really be able to do it. Now, I got over 200 views on the last video, and I got around 8 subscribers, I believe it was. That is awesome for a channel to just start off with. But I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys, if you would, please, if you watch the video and you like this even a little bit, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Help me get those numbers up. Go if we can reach those numbers and we can get more content that I can develop for you guys, more equipment that I can show off, then that's more that I can bring in. If you don't like it after a few months, go ahead and feel free to go ahead and unsubscribe. I'll understand completely. But uh, that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Stop.